Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make a swipe animation in Canva. So if you want something just like this, it's actually very easy to do so. And so if you do find this video helpful in any way, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to our channel. It's really appreciated. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do is create a brand new canvas. So come over here to the left where we see create, click on this. And we need to go down to where we see custom size down here, click on this. And now we need to type in a resolution. So I'm going to type in 1920 by 1080. And then come over here to where it says create new design. Click on this. And now what I'm going to do is actually zoom out a little bit because it is a little bit hard to see. The next thing I'm going to do is actually click on my canvas. And I'm going to change the background. So come up here to background color. Click on this and I'm going to change it to a green. So this makes it a little bit more easier for us later when we add text. The next thing we need to do is actually add an element to our canvas. So come over here to elements. Click on this. And we need to add a circle right here. You can change the color of this as well if you want to. So come up here to color and just change it to like a yellow. So the next Next thing we need to do is actually upload some images to Canva. So come over here to uploads, click on this, and then go up here to where it says upload files. And this will open a brand new window on your computer. And now you need to go and find the images you want to use. My images are right here, so I'm going to hold down shift. And then that's going to select all of those and I'm going to click open and that's going to upload all our images to Canva. Okay, so once our images have uploaded to Canva, now we need to actually add them into our canvas. So I'm going to click on this pineapple. And I'm going to remove the background. And what I'm going to do is actually scale this down. And what I need to do is put this pineapple on top of this circle, just like this. So something like that's okay. And I also need to do the same thing for the others as well. So I'm going to add this mango, scale it down. And I'm just going to move it right here. So just making sure it's touched in the circle, just like this. I'm going to do the same thing for the coconut as well. And I'm going to rotate it slightly. And what you might want to do is make it the same size as the other like fruits here. So just drag your object or your image over the other image and you can kind of scale it properly like this. So you kind of roughly get it the same size. What you might want to do is actually zoom in a little bit. So just come down here to the slider and just zoom in. That can make it a little bit more easier for us to actually correct this properly. So I'm just make it a little bit more bigger and make sure it's just like this. And I'm going to do the same thing for this as well. So just scale this down. So this one's going to be 90 degrees like this. Okay, so once we've got something like this, now what we need to do is click on our circle and we need to come up here to the color and we need to make our image transparent. So just come over here to where we can see there's no color. Click on this and this will make our image transparent. Next thing we need to do is actually group everything in our scene. So hold down left click and then drag to the left and we can see we've selected everything. So let go. And now we can see down here it says group. Click on this and this will group all our objects in our scene. And what we can do is actually zoom out a little bit more so we can actually see the image a bit better. And now what we do from here is we actually download this image. So go up here to share, click on this then go down to download. And we need to make sure our background is transparent. So click on transparent background. And we also need to make sure our file type is selected as PNG. And we also need to increase the size of this as well, just like this, and then click download. Okay, so once that's downloaded, now what we can do is actually add some text to our canvas. So come over here to where it says text, click on this, then go up here to where it says add a text box, click on this, and this will add some text to our canvas. Now we can increase the size, so I'm going to increase this to 50. And I'm also just going to make sure this is extended a little bit. And we can actually change the font as well, so highlight all your text. So make sure everything is highlighted to come up here, click on this, and then we can change the font. Now you could use any font you want to use. I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm also just going to go back to my text and I'm going to replace this with the word pineapple. And we may also want to change the color as well. So I'm going to change this to white. So make sure everything is selected, come up here to text color, and then just pick a color you want to use. I'm going to use white. And now we can actually place this word pineapple above the pineapple, just like this. And now I need to make a copy of this. So I'm going to come up here to the three dots, click on this, and then click copy and do the same thing and then just come down here to where it says paste and then we're going to move this over here to the mango and what we want to do is actually name this coconut later on we're going to do some animations and so it wouldn't work properly if we called it mango so just call this coconut i'm just going to do the same thing for this one and i'm going to type in banana here like that you can press ctrl c and then press ctrl v if you want to that will do the same thing. Double click into here and we can call this mango just like that. Okay, so once you've got something like this, now what we can do is actually delete our fruit objects in our canvas. Okay, so once you've got something like this, now we can actually delete our objects or our images from our canvas. So click on these and then click delete. Just like this. And now what we need to do is do the same thing. We need to download the image. So go over here to share, go to download. Make sure transparent background is selected and make sure the file type is PNG and make sure you move this one all the way up. So once you've got something like this, click download. Okay, so once our text is downloaded, now we can actually hold left click and just drag like this and delete all this. So now we've got an empty canvas and now we need to upload the images we just downloaded. So come over here to uploads, go up to upload files, 
and then find the files on your computer. Mine are going to be in the downloads right here and then select these two and then open. Okay, so once you've got your images uploaded to Canva, now we can actually add these back into our canvas just like this. And what I'm going to do is actually scale these up. So do something like this. I'm also going to add my text as well. So come over here, add your text and increase the size of this as well. Okay, so once you've got something like this, now we need to actually copy this page. So come down here to where we see the pages. If you don't see this little window, just come down here to where it says pages, click on this and this will open a window just like this. Click on these little three dots and then come up here to where it says duplicate page. Click on this and this will make a copy of our page. And now what we can do is actually click on our text and we can rotate the text. So come over here to the rotation and just rotate the text. And we want to rotate the image behind. So come up here to these three little dots, click on this, go to layer, show layers. And over here on the left, we can actually click on our layer. So what we want to do is rotate this one to the right like this. And we may want to scale this up as well. So something like this. And what you could also do is actually change the background color. So I'm going to come over here to the layers, click on this background color. So I'm going to select this blue color, which looks very nice. And now we need to make another copy of this layer. So click on these little three dots again, click on duplicate page and let's make another copy and we can just rotate this again. So like this, and then click on these three dots layer show layers and we can adjust the rotation of this as well to something like this and don't forget to change the background color as well okay so again once you've got something like this just come down here to pages click on page three duplicate to page and it'll make another copy and we need to do the same thing so just rotate this once again so this time it's going to be mango like this move this to the right and the background color i'm going to change probably to like a red like an orangey red, which looks very nice. Okay, so once you've got something like this, we now need to add some animations or transitions to our image. So come down here between page one and page two. And if we hover right here, we should see this little icon. Click on this. And on the left over here, a new window has opened where we see all these transitions we can actually use. So click on this one here, it says match and move, and then change the duration to 1.2 seconds. And then go down here to where it says apply between all pages. And this will add the transition between all of our pages. And the next thing we need to do is actually download this. So come over here to share click download and make sure file type is selected as mp4 which is a video and the quality is 1080p and then come down here to where it says download click on this and this will download and there we go so that's pretty much how you create a swipe animation in canva very easy and simple if you did find this video helpful don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to our channel it's really appreciated anyways thanks for watching hope everybody has a great day and i'll see you in the next video